Hey YouTubers, Grimmy here, and this is Grim Customs, and today we are doing a model kit of the Halo 4 Sprue Kits Sarah Palmer figure. And this is a little model kit uh, you can get at Toys R Us for about 20 bucks. And we're going to build her over the course of the next few videos. And this time I'm actually doing a timer so that should keep at 15 minutes per video. Hopefully. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So anyway, as you can see, here's what we're building. A little picture of how it's supposed to turn out. Yeah, it's mostly going to be gray and darker gray, but yeah, let's get to it. So the thing about her instruction booklet is that it's a big poster sized item so it's huge but nice thing is each part is done individually and it'll tell you exactly where those parts are supposed to be so finding them should not be a problem and it actually goes piece by piece so there we go so let's get to this and we're going to start with the head. Uh, I don't have a place, a place to set this, so I'm going to set it over here off camera. So, yeah, we want. So let's get the parts. Now you can see they are on these sprues. If you've had a Bandai kit, like a Gundam kit or anything like that, or a Kabai kit, you know what to expect. But. We're going to get this started, and I am. So let's see what we got. And that Bing was for mail, so that's just my iPod telling me I got mail, so no big deal. Okay, so yeah, we got the helmet pieces, which are right up here. So we're going to take them off. And this part's very easy, just removing the pieces. And I gotta get this. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Trying to get this in view. So, yeah, we're getting the uh, helmet pieces in. Since this is going to be quite simple. So we got those helmet pieces and we got this visor piece, which is the only thing on a different color plastic than anything else. So yeah, we're going to start small and build our way up. So, first part, pretty simple. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Just putting side A and side B together, like so. Yeah, that was so hard, right? <laughs> Next, slide this piece in. And yeah. And I gotta make sure this isn't upside down. Notches are okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure that it was on correctly, and I believe it is. Yeah. So there we go. We got her head, and she has some decals on her head. So let's get the trusty exacto knife. We'll get the cows. Decal one on here. This is always the tricky part, keeping this in camera. Oh, and not losing my grip on the on the thing. 
this is the cost to go. Right here. On that. Let's see if we can get it to wrap around proper. And yeah, there we go. And yeah, it fits on very nicely. Okay. On to the next appendage, which will be, well, we'll go into the torso next. You know, give her some body parts. So, let's see. Next up, we are looking for, okay, D1 and D2. Here we go. Uh, there we go. Here we go. Found them. All right. So here's D one. And the two D twos. Yeah. So yeah, we got those, and uh, let's see, so like this, okay, these go, oh, let's see, it pegs in like so, it just snaps in, just like that, and on the same side, I want the big circle thing pointing out, Okay, and then we just fold them back like so. And then we're doing B22 and B23. So here's B, torso. Yeah, here, here we go. Twenty-two and twenty-three, and they just go together. Like so. And that looks like a neck. Next up, we add a couple ball joint pieces. So... We got PE2, which is one of these, one of these here. We got, actually got four PE2s on this brew. So it just goes in like that, gives us a little ball at the bottom, and then we want a D3, which is, I believe, this. Ooh, yeah, there we go. There's D3. And that goes on. We want it. Yeah, we want it angle. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. I think we got this on right, so pop that in. There we go. Okay, got this all together, so that part's looking pretty good. And now we want B20 and 21, which are these two pieces here, which make up the midsection that 20 and and this is 20 looks looks like a, that looks like a spine to me so I'd say this is the back so and I'm gonna match it up because this is the waist 
I think it's safe to say we want to get that nice little hourglass shape since it's a girl. So yeah, there we go. And it's supposed to be like this, apparently. So, and now we're putting them together. Okay, so we want hinges out like this. We want it to go in like so. And like that. And then this joint here goes in like that. And now we're actually grabbing the top pieces in A6 and 8. Which are these pieces here. And we're going to put A6 on like so. And then, oh, this is A8, I'm sorry. Now this is A6, which is supposed to go on with the big thrusters toward the top. Yeah. Well, whatever those big things are, they look kind of like thrusters to me. Like that. Okay, secure, and now we need stickers two and three. All right, here. So we'll grab sticker two, get it right there. The camera does not want to focus on it though, but. And we want to get it on, try to line it up nicely. I gotta re angle this because it's kind of at a bad spot. And I know, yeah, it's not, you're not supposed to put the sticky part on the finger. But sometimes you gotta make sacrifices to get what you want done. And I think we got it in there nicely. So next up, rinse and repeat for number three. Yeah. And there we go. And I like Halo 4. And Bomber was an okay character for it. I mean, she didn't really do much. Uh, she was more active in the um, like side story kind of thing. The which would you know the one that was after it. I don't know. I don't remember what it was called. Uh, but I think it was the one that was based on the ship and the uh, missions that from someone other than Master Chief that you made. So, yeah, I thought she was okay there. Not exactly the perfect character, but, you know, Halo didn't exactly have too many memory, memorable characters outside of Avery Johnson. And some of the guys from Reach and uh, ODST. And that was Reaching too. So we got A5 here, which will go right on the back, like so. Part of the backpack. Is that on right? Looks like it.
It looks like it sounded okay. And that's the cue for this part to end. So, that will do it for this video. Um, next time we will finish the upper body, get to work on the lower body and arms, and see about getting this together. Don't know how many parts it will take, but we will find a way. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a comment, leave a like, if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care, so long, have fun, and bye-bye.